Hi everyone, in this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can easily create an ocean inside Cinema 4D with Hot 4D. The link for the plugin is in the description. Let's start with a plane. Next, we can add our Hot 4D object. Go to Extensions and choose Hot 4D and grab the Hot 4D object here. This needs to be a child of the plane. You can see now if I hit play, our plane is already animated. As you can see, it needs a lot more subdivisions. So make 400 by 400. We've already got something nice to look at. Now let's take a look at the hot 4D settings. The ocean resolution, we can maybe up this to 256 by 256. The ocean size, if you go lower, you're gonna see some repetition, so maybe 500 is okay for now. The wind speed, if you go down, you can see that it will be more turbulent. I'm gonna leave it at 20. You can change the wind direction here as well. Shortest wavelength will kind of smooth out the surface. If I decrease this approx wave height, it will temper our ocean. As you can see, the ocean is going crazy right now, so we can calm this down by decreasing the time scale. You can see this is how many loops it's doing during 90 frames here. Let's put 0.2. The choppiness here, if I go crazy with this one, it can create some mesh interaction which we don't want. So be very careful with this one. I'm gonna put 1.2. Damp reflection, if you decrease this value, the waves are gonna interact more between each other. It will be more chaotic. Let's put it at 0.95. Next, the wind alignment. This is how strong the waves will follow the wind. I'm gonna put it at 1.2. Now I'm gonna add my water material to it. If you wanna know how I did this material, I have a video for you up here. We can launch Octane. I just added a soil so the water material has some depth, a sun, and an HDRI. Now we can even add some foam. This works with vertex maps. Now Hot4D is creating them for you. To do so, check the Do Jacobian box here and click on the Create Foam tags. It's asking us to make our plane editable, so select it and hit C to make it editable. Go back to the Hot4D tag and click on Create Foam tags. This created two vertex maps that are plugged here for us. So this Jacob map is taking all the wave height information from the mesh. This one is the foam map that we can tweak and use in our material. So if you go to your water material in the node editor, we can add a vertex map node on the albedo. and drag the vertex map foam here. Let's tweak our foam. This Jacob threshold is the lifetime of the foam. So if I put this all the way down, there will be foam all the way. Now the foam threshold, this decides where the foam is. 
so you can really play with these values to get the right result. That's all for now. I hope you found it useful. If you need a specific tutorial or tip, let me know in the comments and we'll see you in the next video.